our stay in Idaho was pretty short, just a couple days. And we're now in Montana. We were on the, I was on the 200, just kind of a scenic route that went around the big lake there. Um, stayed at Sam Owen Campground, which I think was a US or National Forest campground. I uh, met Sandy, a 74 year old woman who is out traveling, camping by herself. She does it, she's a preschool teacher, and then in the summer she just likes to get out and camp and travel around to the national parks and forests. Um, she let me stay at her campsite, which is really enjoyable. Uh, she's just kind of one of those free spirits type of people that, you know. Age doesn't matter, she's gonna get out and enjoy her life. So now we're on the uh, 56, cutting up to the two, um, to Kalispell, I think is how you say it. And going to a friend's house, um, who I went to Ambassador Bible Center with, um, Sonia and hopefully I'll be able to pick up some things there that will get mailed. But uh, Montana is going to take a little longer than Idaho <laughs> to, to get through. And uh, it's beautiful though, I'm enjoying it. It's, you know, nice and green, but it's not real wet like it is on the coast. More of a dry climate. Um, and so, Last night, just did a little stealth or free camping right off the road. Um, I think it was U.S. Forest Service land. Keep, I've got the, the bear spray close by since we are in uh, bear country. And just enjoying it. Uh, I think we're going to try to get about 30 miles in today. Did about 31 yesterday, even though we had a late start. Started about noon. You know, there's climbing involved here, but it's not real steep yet. It's just kind of gradual climbing, which is nice. And the road's not very busy, as you can see. Uh, a little bit of a shoulder. Whenever I see a car coming up behind me, I try to get off, let, give them more room. But uh, anyway, we're gonna try to make it to Highway 2 today, and then find a place to, to sleep. Montana, big state. So after about 30 miles, we made it to Highway 2, going east towards Kalispell. Um, right before the junction, it's going pretty quick, pretty fast, and Twinkie fell out of the trailer. she got the, uh, the, the latch undone. But she fell out and she must have been dragged. She fell out and must have been dragged a little bit. She did, does have some cuts doesn't look like anything broken. Um, I mean, she was walking around, and I'll check her when, in, in a little bit when we take another break. Um, I don't know how that clip came undone. It's a, it's a carabiner type. You know, it's spring loaded. Somehow it got twisted where it came open and. She likes to lean out and look out the, the little front. Um, I'm surprised Cooper didn't fall out too. But he doesn't lean out as much. Man, that gave me a scare. Um, there's a little bit of blood from cut. 
cuts, or scrapes. And I'll check her out in a little bit when we get to the next little town. I do have more shoulder now on too, which is nice. I was going to say, my hat's come off on the road so many times that... Uh, How far are you going? Uh, well, going to the East Coast. Oh, right on. Started in Phoenix and went up the West Coast from San Diego. So now I'm heading East. Good adventure. Yeah, yeah, I got my dogs with me and... Oh, right on. Yeah. So I wish I could do. Take that much time off to do something cool. Uh, Thanks. Uh, you see why they wear ear Like we could be in for a little bit of rain so I'm gonna get some food water and then look for a place where we can camp for the night give Tw Twinkie a little rest she might be a little sore after that fall and be dragged miles to Kalispell is where we're our next big destination. Um, and that's only making a little dent in our trek across Montana. It's gonna be a, a little while to get through this state. Thirty miles was spent 
on the highway heading north to connect to this highway. So we really were heading north instead of east. That was 30 miles kind of, I wouldn't say wasted, but not really going in the direction we wanted, but it, it looks like it's gonna be that way to get across the straight state. Nothing really directly east. Um, be cutting up and down. And, uh, but it was worth getting to this highway just because of the wider shoulder where I don't have to pay attention now to the cars coming behind me. Um, so I should be able to make better time on this road with this shoulder if it stays this way. Um, which I'm guessing it will because of the high, higher volume of traffic. So anyway, I will talk to you later and let you know how Twinkie is.